Okay, second time. Let's try this and see if it works any better. I'm gonna wait for people to hop on. This is G with Creative Moments by G, and we're so happy if you can refind us tonight. We are all about making a pop-up card, and the first card we're gonna make is this one right here. It has a little pop-up right here, and it's so, so pretty. Hey, Lisa, you made it back. If you are watching the rebroadcast, and you don't like our chit chat, you want to get right down to making cards, there's going to be chapters listed below the video. So just check those out and you can go straight to the cards. Because uh, we are going to have some chit chat. We have Lisa, you haven't frozen yet. Woohoo! Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm so glad that you found us. Oh my goodness, you know. Uh, well, how are you doing, Lisa? Let's just talk to each other. You're, you are the first one to find us. I saw you over on Facebook. Hey, Marilyn, you're back. Yay! We had a Facebook real quickie right before the show, and it was perfect. And I wanted to announce to everybody that we had Xfinity working in our neighborhood laying some fiber. So, of course, you know, we knew that was going to happen. Carol, Maddie, <laughs> you're back, Linda. Well, we hope the rest of y'all can find us. We're so excited to make this card tonight. And we're gonna start with the easy one, but uh, let's just give everybody a little, a few seconds to pop back on. And what I was saying before we froze, hey, Sandra, welcome, Judy, good evening, is, I'm going to try to condense this to 30 seconds and put it up on YouTube as a short tomorrow. So that's my challenge. So y'all make sure and come back tomorrow to our YouTube channel and check out our YouTube shorts to see if I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Well, I just appreciate y'all finding us. Um, I don't know what happened, but let's get down to that crafting table and let's get started. Okay, I need to fix, oops, wait a minute. I need to fix it because if I were to go down now, you would see how messy my crafting table is. Hey, Leanne, yay, so happy you're here. So let me just get this going a little bit so you don't see, you know, there's an illusion, right, that uh, G has it all together and she uses her little tray. <laughs> but <laughs> if you look outside the camera, it's a little messy. What about y'all? Do y'all craft and it just becomes like a tornado? Let me know. Write tornado or write you're nice and clean. Wow, I'm not. So put that in the comments. I want to know what other, who other... Let me see, how do I say that? The other crafters who were tornadoes too, so I don't feel so bad. There we go. Now we can bring you on down. Here we go, Stella. You didn't miss a thing. Judy, where there's a will, there's a way, Stella. Yes, yes, absolutely. So let me show you the first thing you need to do to create this card. Okay. Here we go. The first thing, you're going to want a top fold card. Now, the measurements, remember, you don't have to worry about those. Just sit back, enjoy yourself, make lots of comments. Oh my goodness, we have a couple tornadoes. <laughs> Let me see, how do I do that? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you have my heart. I'm glad. I would feel bad if you guys said that you were all nice and neat. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is create that top fold card. And of course, we know that that's 11 by 4 and a fourth, and we score it at 5 and a half. Well, really, pretty much, that's it, except for what we're going to do to the inside. So we're just going to put that over to the side, and we are going to grab a piece of paper that is 5 and a half by 6 and a fourth. Now, this is the pop-up mechanism. Yep, still time to clean. I get so pumped after these shows that I'm like crazy and I'm, I'm cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So, yes, 
I will clean later. So we are going to put this in our trimmer and we're going to put it on the sixth and a fourth inch side. And we're going to score at half an inch and at one inch on both sides. So make sure you've moved your cutting blade out of the way. Oh, thank you, Lisa. And let's go ahead and put that in at half an inch and score it. Just move it over to one inch and score it. And now we're going to flip our paper and we're going to do the exact same thing. This is such an incredibly easy card, an easy fun fold, but you know, whenever you create fun folds, it's just that extra special, right? So we're going to score at half an inch and an inch, and it just tells that person, you know what? I went just a little bit more than normal. So now we have our pop-up mechanism. Nor'easters. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now let me show you how we fold this. Oh, Mary, amen to that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the closest score line to the middle and we're going to fold in. Go ahead and crease it. You can get your bone folder if you can find it. <laughs> I can find mine tonight. <laughs> and we're going to crease it. And then we're going to fold back. And we're going to crease it. Now simply turn your paper over, find that first score line and fold it towards the center. Fold it in and fold back. And look at that. We have created our little pop-up mechanism. Okay, so now before you put it on the card, you really need to lay down whatever you're going to lay down on it. And we're going to lay down this piece of paper, this beautiful DSP. Now let's talk about this DSP for just a second. Look at this. This is from Regency Park and I'm obsessed with this paper. It is so beautiful. And this is a beautiful side and would make a beautiful card. But we decided to go with more pastel. So... That's what we're going to do. But in addition to that, we are going to use one of those beautiful big stamp sets. So let's go ahead and get this lined in our Stamparatus. Lay down our magnets and I'm going to bring in this stamp set. Now I don't know if you have this or not, but I love big stamp sets. And we are going to use May the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. Don't you love that? Hey, Phyllis, welcome. Okay, so we're going to lay that down right in the center, just like this. Kind of center it on all sides. We're going to just bring it up and let me see. I want to use, let's see, I'm going to use Memento and ask me if I have Memento with me. Uh, that would be no, so I've got to get it. <laughs> so, fortunately, it's just a little bit off camera. So now, remember one of the tricks I showed y'all? Make sure you have a stamp case right on the cover of your Stamparatus and that way it doesn't fall down especially when you go to ink it up, right? So tap, tap, tap. You don't have to worry about being real dark because we have it in the Stamparatus. And we're gonna stamp it a couple times. Tap, 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 tap. Let me know in the comments, what card are y'all working on? We have this fun fold. And then stay with us because at the end we want to show you a Valentine card that we made. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. Hey, Pat, you found us. Welcome back. But let me know, what card are you working on? Are you working on Valentine's? Are you working on birthday cards? What do you got going on in your craft room right now? Oh, I think that's perfect. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
Oh my goodness, I love that. Now I'm gonna move this to the side. I may need to use it again. And we are going to take this, and I'm gonna open it up just a little bit, the mechanism. That won't hurt anything. And I'm going to get some glue, and I'm gonna center this right on the front of this. So let's, oh, you know, it's almost criminal to cover up this paper. I love it so much, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it. We have to do it, right? Now, I'm gonna share with y'all, just because it's, it's so darn cute. There is a movie on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix, Maudie. You'll have to remind me. And it's instead of, I think, Mother's Day, it's called Other's Day. <laughs> and it really is funny. I, it has, I think it may have a few bad words in it, but I just ignore those. But it is so funny. You will laugh out loud. It's about three mothers that are upset with their sons for not paying attention to them on Mother's Day. So it is so funny. You've got to watch it. <laughs> Maddie will let you know if it's on Prime or Netflix. So let's see what we're working on. Okay, working on a masculine birthday. Oh my gosh, five brothers and grandson. Five brothers, wow. Been playing with the Adventure Suite, it's awesome, okay. What else are we working on? Dainty Delight, oh yeah, oh yes. Oh, five projects, Lisa, yikes. Well that, you know, that Stella is something. Does anybody else come from a big family? Maddie and I don't come from a big family. We, we, have a, we had a sister and a brother and each other. That's who we have. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is you can go ahead and decorate this card, but the other hood, other's day, other hood. Okay, good, Maddie looked it up. Okay, so you can decorate it before you put it on because you do kind of have to squish it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring out some paper and we are going to stamp with this right here, Sentimental Park. Now this is such a pretty, pretty stamp. So we are going to be using the purples and the pinks. We're gonna use Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Polished Pink, and Flirty Flamingo. And oh my goodness, this is a two-step process, remember. So you wanna make sure that the one that does your background is lighter. I was eight here in the baby, only three left. Wow, eight in a family, my goodness. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go with Highland Heather because it's the lighter. We're gonna stamp it. Look at that. Oh, I love those bubbles. And then we're gonna bring in our gorgeous grape and we're just gonna line it up and stamp right over it and get us some definition. And let's just see if I can line that up fairly. There we go. And you know why I like the clean stamps? You can see where to stamp, right? Let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Okay, so now we want to have a pink set. So I'm just gonna clean this off really quickly. And I'm gonna shut this. Now, if you have not checked us out on Instagram, you need to do that, because we have some tips that I think you'll really like. So once again, let's use our light color to go for the background. And we're gonna close that. And we're going to bring in that beautiful polished pink. Oh my goodness, we love this color. It's so vibrant. Let's see how I do. I'm trying not to get my head in the picture here. Let's see how I did. Oh wow, look at those colors. You love those colors? Yes. And now we need to go ahead and do our leaves because we want some leaves on this. And I think we will use 
old olive and get the leaves. Now look at where we got the leaves from. Look at this beautiful leaf right here. We picked that out from lighting the way. And you know what's so great about having stamp sets is you don't have to just use one, mix and match, right? Do y'all do that? Do you mix and match or do you try to stay just with the one stamp set that you're working with? Let us know. So we're gonna stamp. Oh, look at that leaf. So pretty. Yes, you love polished pink and wish they would keep it. <sighs> I know, I know, we can only hope, right? So, by the miracle of, let me see, I'm looking for the lid. By the miracle of live TV, <laughs> we already have this cut out. <laughs> so here we have it. We have our little flowers and we are going to add it to the front of our card. Now, the way I thought about decorating it was like this. I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to put this down here. Now, I'm sure I have another tip for you. When you have little bitty images like this, go ahead and get your silicone mat. Get your glue. And then you can get your take your pick tool if you need it. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Just kind of drag it through. And that way you don't have to get your fingers all messy. You don't have to worry about putting it on the back of your leaf, just use that mat to get some glue. Because why that is so nice is at the end, you can either wash it off with cold water, right? Or you can just wiggle your finger and it'll go away. So here we have this one. Now is when we're going to use our take your pick tool. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back and I'm gonna put this one right over here and I'm gonna bring in a purple leaf, purple flower, put him right there. And then I cut off those little bubbles. Look at those, I cut those off. And I'm just going to, I'm, I think I will just grab them and put them about right there. Look at that, looking pretty. Let me see if I can go in just a little bit. Let me do something. Let me get rid of that. Go in just a little bit so we can see it. Okay, so now I may need a little more glue to add my flowers. So this time I'm gonna put the flowers on this side. Just put them right here. Oh my goodness, I love this pop-up card. And you know what? It will absolutely fit in an envelope. You don't have to worry about it. And I'm gonna put my little bubbles. Let's see, put them right there. Move this out of the way because we are actually done with that. The only thing we have left to do is the inside of our card and put this down. So now, you can use glue or you can use tear and tape. And I'm going to use tear and tape. So let's back out just up, a little too far. <laughs> it takes, it's a little harder than you might think. So let's bring in our tear and tape. Okay, there we go. And I gotta find the end of it. Yes. Now, when you do this, let me give you another tip. This big tear and tape will not fit the entire little uh, tab right here. So make sure that you put it on the very end, closest to the outside of the card, because that's what you really care about. You want this glued down to the card so that it stays where it's supposed to stay. So make sure you do that right on the edge. Okay. just. Tear it off because it's called tear and tape. Yes, and we're gonna go right to the edge again. And 
Get that right there, tear it off. Now I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. Get that off, throw it in my trash. And we are going to add this to the front of our card. Now you wanna make sure and really line it up right on the edge. So that may take just a minute to make sure that you get it just right. So we're just gonna make sure that we have it right there and fold this in and just put it right down. And look at that. That is so pretty. And see how it squishes? I mean, and it stands up so nice. So let's do the inside. Now we decided to go ahead and do a little bit of matting just to bring in some color. So we're just gonna flip this up. And of course, you could write on this if you wanted to. And because this is a white base, you don't even have to do this matting if you don't want to. But I wanted to because it makes it a little more sturdy. And um, I really like it. I like the way that it looks. Okay. Now you can stamp some additional stamping, but what we're going to do is we are going to bring in these beautiful gems. Look at those. Those are called iridescent pastel gems. And we're going to add some of these. I'm going to add some smaller ones to our small little flowers. Look how pretty that looks. And then we'll add a medium size. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, we'll just pick out one of these and add it right there. Oh, so pretty. I love it. Going to add some more gems down here. And, you know, adding bling, right? Can you have too much bling? I don't think so. Do y'all like to use gems in your cards? Let us know below. Okay, I could have put a big one there, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little one. And here we go. Here is our first card. Pop-up card. It stands up. It actually is a keepsake, right? They're gonna put this on their mantle, on their desk, and it is so pretty. Now we have a picture kind of similar of this one because we used different paper, remember, on this one. Look at that one. That one is quite beautiful too. But we'll have these pictures up on Pinterest. So if you want to just duplicate them, encase them, feel free to do that. But they're both so, so pretty. Now, are you ready to go to the next level and do one that has a pop-up frame? It really doesn't take much time. And let's see what we got here. We have our card that's already cut. And we have our five and a half by six and a fourth, right? So let's bring that in. And on the long side, on the six and a fourth, remember, you need to score at half an inch. And then move it on over to an inch and score. And then simply flip it over. Half an inch. and an inch. Now this is the pop-up mechanism. Now, let's move this to the side and let's go ahead and score these lines. Remember, you find the score line that is closest to the middle and you fold it. Use your bone folder to give it a good crease and now fold back. So you fold in and back. In Crease it and back. Now, this is going to go on the front of our card just like this. But look what we've done. We took two mats. Shame on her, but that's a good money spent. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. So we took two mats and we used that beautiful paper. Look at that. And we used Mango Melody, of course. We simply put them together just like this, giving us the same border 
And then I used our uh, stitched dies. Let me see if I can get this up. I'm having trouble here. Yep, we used the stitched dies to cut out the smaller circle. Now let me show you a little tip to create the frame that goes around, right? A lot of times when you try to create a frame like this, you're going to get it and it's going to be lopsided and it's not going to look good at all. So the way to solve that problem is take your removable tape, lay it down on a mat or your table, and really get it lined up just like that. And now go ahead and put your removable tape on it and you have it exactly the way you need it. You don't have to move it around. It's not going to move around when you run it through your boss. It's going to be perfect. So that's just a little tip. Creative therapy. Oh my goodness. That, I'm trying to think, oh y'all, you can help us. I'm trying to come up with a name for like, if I come on Instagram or Facebook and I do just like a three minute card and it's live and I just pop on, I was thinking maybe stamping therapy, crafting therapy. Um, come on, y'all are creative. Come up with a name that we can call this little three to four minute show. So think about it. Okay, so we have our mat. And if you're watching the rebroadcast, leave them a message below the video. Give us a name for our new little show that we want. It'll be a live show. So here you go. So the first thing we need to do is glue this down, right? So we're just going to get some glue. Make sure that you get the corners because you don't want it to come up. Get enough glue on it. And now you need to line it up according to your cut out. Make sure that's lined up perfectly. Okay, so now we have that. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and lay down our frame. Creative therapy. You know why I kind of like that, Stella? Is because we're creative moments by G. We're creative moments matter. <laughs> I kind of like putting creative in there. Good idea. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just get this glued down. So just put a little glue line all the way around. Just a little bit. I am so glad that we were able to get back on and it is not freezing. Oh, I was just so ready to see y'all again. Okay, so here we have the front of our card. Now let's go ahead and let's, this is where we're gonna lay it, but we have to stamp our sentiment, right? So let me show you how we're gonna do that. We're going to put this right where we want it and make sure it's centered. And we're going to draw just a very light line around that circle, just very light, so that we know where to stamp. And I'm just going to flatten it. Now I'm going to use Starry Sky for my message. So I'm going to bring in this message right here. I love, love this message. And let me show you. It is from this beautiful, beautiful stamp set. We love this and we cannot wait to make a card with this. The stamp that we have is there is something beautiful in every day. And you know what's so interesting and I'm sure I'm going to tell the story when we make the card, but we were raised on a ranch and our horses used to love this thistle. This was like candy to them. So, you know, it had stickers on it, so they just liked this top part, and they would curl their lips back and use their teeth just to get that top part, which was candy. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, let's see if I can stamp this in the middle. Creative quick fix. Oh, that's cute too, creative. Yeah, we used the creative, okay. Now, I have some blue around the edges. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it and not mess it up. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. And cross your fingers, everybody. Yes. Yes, okay, so now we're going to take our, 
our wonderful eraser. If you don't have this, you really need this. So just get that little pencil mark off. And you know, if you go to our website and you go to Crafty Things, our faves, you'll see the things that we really like that we get on Amazon to support our crafting therapy, right? <laughs> okay, so now let's look at this. We're not done. Yes, I know we're not done because we're going to put some flowers right here. But let's go ahead and lay this down. And that's good too, Anna. Creative moments with G. It's just, it's going to be such a quick little card. You know, it's just going to be like a three, four, five minute live. We're going to be just fast. So let's get this lined up. That's a great idea though. I think keeping the creative is very important, right? Okay, look at that. Don't you love that color? And what makes it so nice is I went with the Mango Melody, but can't you see? You could, you could use Pacific Blue, right, as your map. You could use Night of Navy, Starry Sky. You don't have to use that. I like sunflowers, so I like to use bright colors. But let's go ahead and get this laid down. Once again, we're going to bring in our tear and tape and make sure that you do this on the edge. Did Georgia demonstrate a card like this before? I sure did, and it is on our website. Uh, it's on the blog. It's a different, you know, it's the one that has a perched tree, perched bird. It's a little bit different. This has a total different feeling because I didn't put the trees in it, you know, because now it's springtime. On, well, not really, but in my mind, it's springtime. I'm hoping for some spring pretty soon. <laughs> Are y'all ready for spring? Or are you ready for some more snow? Maddie talked to her son tonight, and he said they had a snow day. He lives up in northern New Mexico. So they had a snow day this week. Uh, we didn't have a snow day. <laughs> Not in southern New Mexico. Okay, so uh, let me tell you another little tip. Whenever you go to put something on the front of your card, have you ever done this before? You don't pay attention and you put it upside down. Is anybody else like that? Have you done that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> you guys are probably perfect and have never done it. Okay, I'm gonna line up that right on the edge. I'm gonna put it on the side, close it and line it up. And look at that. Okay, we're not done. Remember, we have some flowers. We stamped some of these beautiful flowers from Petal Park. And then we used our punch to punch them out. And once again, it's a two-step process. And look what I did on these flowers. I went ahead and used Mango Melody, but I used the Starry Sky. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see the Starry Sky as the definition part. Love it. Love that. Let me see. Done that. Oh, yep. You want some spring too. I'm so glad somebody else has done it backwards or done it upside down. My goodness. So now, because I have some leaves, you know, I always put things up on dimensionals and that way it slips underneath the flower, right? So let's go ahead and add this first one right here and then I'm just going to slip this under put a little glue on it get that right there and maybe just put this one down here oh look how pretty that is I just love this I love this paper and I love this stamp set now here are the leaves that I stamped once again, using this petal part, and it actually, the punch will punch it out. And see how that's a two-step process right here? Two-step process. So you go with the light for the background, and then you bring in the dark for the definition. 
Now, because these are small, I'm going to bring in my mat again. I'm going to put a little glue and I'm going to use my take your pick and just barely dab it. I think I'll put that right there. Just got a leaf. I don't even think I need, well, I guess I do need that take your pick. I'm just going to put it right at the end and just keeping it inside my card, right? And now I think I'll just put them right there. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of glue. I'm going to put it right under the big flower. And I'm going to leave the end up so that it can look 3D. And look at this one. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Now we need to go ahead and do the inside, right? I went ahead and I cut out a mat. So we have our starry sky that is absolutely beautiful, right? We're gonna do that to the inside of the card. And I love that saying. Do y'all like that saying? It is, there is something beautiful in every day. <laughs> I have something like that, a saying, and it says, and I look at it every day, I have it in my house, get up in the morning and expect something wonderful to happen. I love that saying too. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. And now look at this card. We have our springy little pop-up. We have our frame where we were able to just stamp our message right there on the card. Now, remember I told you we have another card that we want to show you, so I'm gonna get rid of my face, oh no. Let's see. Nope, that didn't do it. It will eventually. <laughs> It'll go, I, I know there's a way to get rid of it. Let's see. There we go. So here are our cards that you have seen. Let me make them a little bigger. Let me know. Now here is our, oh yes, and um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right, that kind of went down. On this one, we didn't, glue it down so look how it pops up isn't that cool look at that and once again it stands up let me move this stands up just perfectly so that you know someone's going to put that on their desk here is our valentine card our dreams card and our covered in sunshine. Let us know which card you like the best in the comments below. What do you like best? We have two different, we actually have three different cards because this one actually was glued down, but this one we actually cut a hole and we did not glue it flat, we let it pop up. And so that's really cool, see that one? Let us know in your comments below, which is your favorite? You can't pick all of them. You have to pick one, Carol. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, how long have you been doing videos? Lisa, we've been doing videos since about 2019. Videos. Okay, let me see. The fave is the first one with the sunshine sentiment. This one. Oh, yes. Love this sentiment, right? Love that sentiment. It's so pretty. Want to come back on so I can see y'all? <laughs> well, what about this one? Don't you love the colors? I love that we picked up these colors from this DSP. I think that is so pretty. And of course, you know, this is a punch. And you punch this out using the DSP. So, there you have it. 
<laughs> the heart one's your favorite? <laughs> I think so, Carol. I don't know what's between these two because I love this color. I can't remember. I think that's Bermuda Bay or that's, uh, I can't remember what it is, but I love the color. I really, I love strange colors. Now, you know what? On this one, you can, we have these. We're going to put these gems on it. And these are called Milky Dots. Look at those. Aren't those pretty? Pretty, pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Coming through. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did I scare y'all? <laughs> it went black. Hey, we just appreciate y'all spending your time with us. And oh my goodness, finding us for the second video. You know, I mean, we haven't had that problem in so long, but it's because Xfinity laid some fiber and hopefully that'll make it faster, better, right? For next time, we'll remember next month, the first and the third Thursday we go live, but we post videos every single uh, Tuesday, Thursday. So uh, we're probably going to go live. We're just going to pop on. I'm going to look at your comments. I'm going to come up with a name and just do a quick little card. Remember, check out our YouTube shorts because I'm going to see if I can condense this down to 30 seconds. Do you think I can do it? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sure going to give it a good try. Y'all go out and have a fantastic weekend. We just appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.